hey guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new welcome to my channel so today i have this really colorful you know summer look for you guys um i wanted to play with this week i got I, honestly the details i don't have the details of the week but i'm gonna leave the link where i got it in the description box i think one of these days i'm going to come and do like my my week you know I, um, like all my pro weeks type of thing like i'll have like a tutorial on like you know some of my favorite pro weeks but anyways this is the look i have created for you guys something summer-ish <laughs> and yeah it's a bit different for me especially with the wig and everything and i'm just like okay let's go and give them color this morning but anyways this is the look i have created and if you want to see how i achieve this look please give a watch so I, I have my eyes already prepped <clears throat> forgive my voice dang going into my zulu palette i'm taking that yellow and i'm putting that on my eyelid kind of like the whole eyelid and then i'm gradually blending that upwards and then using this um light pink shade from my deuce palette i am just gonna put that as my transition color honestly this color was just off <laughs> but anyways going back into that yellow i am blending and then going into that zulu palette again i'm taking that pinkish color i don't know why it's looking reddish i don't even know what it is pinkish or reddish but anyways i put that in my crease so i like to blend both the transition and the yellow together and i'm just going back and forth to blend going back in that yellow and that the pinkish color i'm just blending both of them together going back into the zulu palette i'm taking that i don't know what to call the shimmerish call shimmerish shimmery color i just put that in the center of my lid sort of like to blend the yellow and the orange or the red together or the pinkish red i don't know how to call it it wasn't honestly this eye look it was just whatever <laughs> anyways i'm going back to blend now taking my um maybelline gel liner i'm gonna outline my eyes or where to put the where i want to line my eyes sort of just to help me you know now i'm using my wet and wild liquid eyeliner i really love this eyeliner and it's very inexpensive and then i'm just putting that um using that to line my eyes you just want to take your time with this and be careful i hate lining my eyes but um, when i do i really want it to come out well so you just want to take your time and that's why i usually outline it first now that we have that done i'm gonna set, um, prime my face using my um makeup forever primer and my becca primer i only use the becca primer in the teaser and i love using these primers together i don't know they've just been working perfectly for me and then using this in my teaser i'm just going to put that there to help with the oiliness now using my um, L'Oreal True Match foundation, I love this foundation. The problem is the application, whatever, is not funny because it doesn't have any application or anything. You just kind of have to pour it. So I use the darker one because it's a little bit too dark and a little bit, a little bit of the lighter one. The darker one is C10 and the lighter one is C9. There's a, there's a C9.5. I saw that in Walmart the other day. So I think I would, want, when these two finish, I would go for that one. Anyways, I'm just using my booty blender to blend and using my um, my LA Girl in Toast. I am just going to highlight my face you know, underneath my eyes. And you want to be careful with the liner. So that's why I really like this LA Girl because of the tip of it. You can easily just clean up, you know, when you do like a wing liner or something. And I'm going to blend, starting with the outer part and i want to make sure that blends really well with my foundation mm -hmm. i go back and forth with the place i use for my foundation to blend really well and you just want to blend you want to take your time it definitely takes longer than i show on camera so don't think i just do this as quickly as this is of course it's fast paced so yeah now i'm using the combination of my laura messia medium powder and my air spawn powder I don't know for some reason this day it was looking a little bit too whitish i don't know but anyways i love combining both of them together but i can use the medium on its own the the, the, the laura masia i like a little bit of that you know now going into my morphe 
35 OM palette. I'm gonna contour my face as so, you know, and I'm using that same combination of the powders and I'm just cleaning underneath that contour. And I'm taking that off immediately. I don't usually bake or nothing like that. And even when I put the powders, I press it into my face. So, uh, as you can see, I was looking too white. I don't know why. Anyways, going into my NW58 Mac NW58 powder, I am going to set my whole face with that and just blend everything together. You want to make sure you use a powder that is your skin tone to do this, so that you. Know, blend everything together pinching that contour place I'm just gonna with the contour brush I use I'm just gonna contour my nose going into my NYX white liner I'm gonna line my waterline with this and then going back into that color I use in my crease the reddish pink I'm just gonna line my uh, underneath my lash line and I brought it in like you know like you're doing like an inner wing so I brought it in inside there and I put that underneath the wing as well so I put that there and I also went back with the white and I extended it as you can see but it wasn't showing I didn't I, sorry I don't I lost the footage of that anyways I'm gonna highlight my face using my Juvia's Place um, Sahara blush 2 palette the one I normally always use I don't know why I didn't show it on camera anyways I, I highlighted my brow bone my cheekbones you know my forehead the bridge of my nose all of that you want to make sure you're blending as you're doing this so i use circular motions when i'm blending anything really both my powder my highlighter or anything now the bridge of my nose and my cupid's bow Now I'm going into my BH Cosmetics blush palette. I pretty much used the three blushes on there. I just dipped and dabbed in all of them and I just blushed my face. With a little bit too much but it's okay. <laughs> And I go back with my highlighter brush or a little bit of the highlighter just to bring that out because when I blush my face it's a little bit missing so I use that I go back with the brush and also my contour brush just to bring that out also and then I, I maybe blend again with my powder brush using my Mario Bajewski setting spray I am going to set my face with this you want to fan that in immediately so it stays here. using my good old uh, wet and wild brow pencil I am lining my lips my Anastasia matte lipstick in sepia I think I use this like for almost every look <laughs> I really love this and I'm just use, putting that on my lips and you know going back with the with the wet and wild to kind of clean up that up, clean up the lipstick when I put it. Now using my um, NYX lip gloss in banana split, and I am putting that on top of the lipstick. And that's it, guys. So guys, this is the finished look. <laughs> something very different, of course, you know, something very, very different. I'm in love with this wig. Like, I can't even explain. I'm in love, I'm in love, I'm in love with it. It is different. It is, it's just flirty, you know. I think I'm gonna get this in like every color. And I haven't even cut anything from this wig. Like, I just fluffed it out and that's it. But anyways, this is the finished look. Let me know what your thoughts are. And as always, leave and not exist. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Remain blessed.